What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Black Reality TV, man. It's been a long time since I did a video, but I'm here to come out and address a topic that a lot of people are talking about in this NBA um, boycott situation. And I want to talk specifically about LeBron James and what I've been hearing and, you know, this observation from a lot of different people and um, just hearing a lot of different opinions about this. Now, here on one hand, people are saying that LeBron James is sold out and, um, He's not the person that we thought he was. He's a fraud, this and that. And it's it's utterly ridiculous when you think about it. First of all, <laughs> LeBron James, with LeBron James, let's say, okay, let's say, for example, they decided to boycott for a long extended period of time. Are we? Let's be honest. Is that really going to change our situation as an everyday black man or black woman in this country. No. It is upon ourselves to make it happen. Why are we sitting back waiting for entertainers and people like this and sports athletes to make the first chess move? They are part of the establishment that pays them. We put these guys on a pedestal. And like the brother one of these like the one of like the brother one of these said in his video talking about this, are we going to people who work jobs, are we going to say, you know what, we're not gonna work these jobs until racism is completely abolished? Let's be honest. Ninety nine percent of us is not gonna willing to do that. So why are you expecting LeBron James to do that? Why are you expecting Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Chris Paul, these guys to do that? Let's be realistic. The answer is going to be no, man. Do not put the expectations and and put the situations on people that you're not willing to do yourself, man. You're not willing to do it. So just pipe down with it, man. And another thing I, I, I feel like, I feel like some of us, we want things to be be in a position where our lives change, but we're not willing to put it all out there. We're not willing to take the slings and arrows to get the things done that we need to get done to make change. We want to sit back and hope that somebody else do it from afar and then come out and say, hey, we did it as one. Instead of being accountable, instead of being accountable individually, and as a collective, said, "What can we do individually in our households to make to make things right? What can we do as a community to make things right as a whole?" We're not willing to do that collectively. I'm not saying all of us. I'm saying some of us are not willing to do that. So to put these unreasonable expectations on one person is absolutely fucking ridiculous. It is, man. And it needs to be said, man. And I hear people talking about, well, the NBA, they're better than the NFL, man. Let me tell you something, man. The NFL and the NBA, the NFL is a Republican Party, and the NBA is a Democratic Party. And speaking of that, they're playing in the NBA. They're planning on what they're wanting to do is making arenas uh, a voting poll for people to go out and vote. They're trying to push voting out there for November. And a lot of people don't really want to hear this shit, but voting is not going to get us out, totally out of the situation that we need to get out of. It's going to, and, and people don't want to hear this shit, but it's true. It's going to have to get down and dirty and ugly. The way these people got in position of power and maintain it, it's not all just voting. I'ma leave it at that, man. This your man, Black Reality TV, man, deuces.